Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Yev, and today I want to show you the newest keyboard from Corsair. This is K65 Plus. This is compact gaming mechanical keyboard with linear smooth switches. So let's go and check and let's try to understand is it something really new on a mechanical gaming keyboard market or is it just one more keyboard in a row? So inside the box you will have a keyboard itself. You will have braided cable and switch and keycap puller warranty and basically that's all. No spare switches, keycaps or anything else. Keyboard itself. So on the rear side you have a place for a dongle 2.4. I already inserted in my USB extender. You have Win and Mac switcher. You have Bluetooth wireless and off mode and you have obviously USB-C on a Back side you have two options how to change your angle and uh, on the left side you have additional function key to switch on and off RGB. From the uh, front side of the keyboard you have this metal knob and the interesting fact that this knob can play different functions. I will show you uh, later in the video how. And uh, keycaps with uh, additional legends according to the function what can provide this keyboard. You can connect this keyboard to up to three Bluetooth devices. You can use your wireless dongle to connect wirelessly. And of course you can use your cable to connect via USB-C. So from the keycap point of view, we have, we have PBT keycaps. They are not shine through. Uh, pretty nice in general, but um, I cannot say anything special about them just nice and sturdy keycaps. From the switch point of view, we have linear, pre-looped. I don't know why, but it's uh, only three pins. It's uh, like no big deal, but I think five is more stable. And this is a uh, linear, quiet, and the sound is pretty pleasant. I will again show you the sound test later. From RGB point of view, we have uh, north-facing LED so and uh, 3 and 5 pin PCB support so from the software point of view I think this is one of the like biggest part of this keyboard is um, this keyboard is supported by Corsair um, you know official IQ uh, software so inside the software you may like do the key assignment you can do the lighting uh, effect so it's a lot of different schemas and all of that so obviously you can choose whatever you want right uh, as i mentioned key keycaps are not shine through so it will not help you to see it through them like you, you cannot see the rgb lights through them but in general it adds some nice effect from performance point of view, it's not in, not a lot of functions uh, inside the software, so it's basically uh, you can disable a couple of keys and, and that's all. Uh, what is interesting is that you can change the function of this knob and you can do it from the uh, keys on the keyboard. So for example, function and left arrow will allow you to decrease or increase brightness of, uh, of the keyboard, right? Control up will switch this knob to so sorry function up will switch this to volume change, right? And function right it will be zoom and function uh, down it will be scroll up and down. So this is very interesting idea uh, how to change the knob function if you need to do something one in a one uh, application or like you know game and something else in another so this is unique um, function of this keyboard what is also interesting is that this key uh, on the left side you can switch on and switch off uh, lighting in general right obviously you can do all these changes without this uh, software but interesting moment that you cannot do this if the software is uh, like up and running which is a little bit annoying, but not critical. 
Okay, let's do the quick sound check. Sound is uh, in general pleasant. I like it. Uh, how this keys uh, sounds, except uh, that keys with the stabilizers, they sound uh, kind of sandy. I don't know is it uh, like you know it was the aim of Corsair to do so or not, but I I don't know. Um, also, you have this additional light on the left side, and you can check some stuff uh, for example battery if it's a green you have more than 75 percent charge stabilizers are plate or like screw screw in right so they're really stable and also you may see that this plate is uh, metal so that's why we have this uh, pleasant sound uh, partially because of this as well from other, other unique uh, options or unique properties of this keyboard, this interesting escape uh, keycap, kind of metal, but it's not metal, uh, it's a plastic, just, just so you know. I don't know if, if it's important or not. The back side is interesting, uh, this uh, like unique Corsair uh, pattern, obviously you will, you will never see this because it's on the bottom side. and. I already spent a couple of hours playing in uh, Helldivers uh, using this keyboard and I may say that it's good uh, but also I may say that I'm not sure I understand why the budget is so high for, for, for this keyboard. I mean uh, from functions point of view it's, uh, it's nothing special. I mean yes it's a mechanical keyboard 75% well made, nice case. Uh, like uh, interesting structure like all this dampening form uh, inside and you can use it with mac and win and by the way you have both legends for windows and mac which is nice you can switch quickly between different bluetooth devices so you can use this keyboard with your mac uh, with your win pc with everything else but i mean i'm not sure i understand why the budget is so high if you know, please let me know. Maybe I'm missing something. Uh, I will do one more video with disassembling this keyboard and doing modification and maybe changing these keycaps for something more fun. But please let me know if uh, this keyboard is a real piece of technical art or uh, it's really just one more super expensive uh, keyboard with the same set of functions as all other keyboards on the market. Thank you for watching, see you next time.